last visit we had used the sphygmogore machine and found yes. these red numbers in the red that weren't there before and then we made the changes in your medication exactly and we took you off of the metoprolol weaned you off of that and the exactly. amiodarone and put you on the the uh, norvesc or the amlodipine and have you noticed that you're feeling more energetic and improved since I we am. made those changes i am I yeah am. and and in terms of the medication changes we <clears throat> definitely noticed a difference once we stopped that metoprolol because the metoprolol can slug can make you yeah, it may be very feel, sluggish. And yes, right, well, and you I had mentioned I, I had complained to you about yes, that. You know, one of the reasons I took you off of it was because, you know, the, utilizing this machine enabled me to tell that this metoprolol was actually not favorably affecting your blood pressure inside, in internally, that the heart was seeing. Yes. It was actually causing the blood pressure to be too high, and the, and the difference between the top and the bottom number to be too wide, and that number makes your prognosis worse so hopefully today things have improved and well, no we're back on track and and the good news is that you're it, if it's even improved a little bit you're feeling a lot better with that change and I think what made me make that change was really this combination of your symptoms plus this well, let's take the blood pressure roll up your sleeve okay. you just relax your arm and during the procedure you know it'll measure three blood pressures you just rest your arm no fist and no talking it's going to do it, and we're going to um, relax. It takes about a minute between each blood pressure. All right. Well done. Look at that. Went from 65 down to the green, down to 40. It, it was an effect of the metoprolol pulse pressure, which is, if it's greater than 50, that's been associated in studies with a very bad prognosis. Now yours is down to 40 from 65. So the medicine change we made not only made you feel better, yes, but it's also improved the numbers hemodynamically that we got. Your number before was, I believe, 135. Now the top number systolic blood pressure is 122. Every number is in the green. They're all good. Your arteries are not stiff. We've chosen the right combination of blood pressure medicines. And I don't feel compelled, even though the artery and blood pressure in your arm was a little on the high side, yes. to increase anything. When you first saw his re report, his first assessment when he came in, how did that drive your treatment decisions? The last report, the initial report. The initial report, yes. Oh, it absolutely convinced me that the metoprolol which he was on for atrial fibrillation, which is an appropriate treatment, and a lot of people and a lot of cardiologists like beta blockers after bypass or for people with coronary artery disease, they think that they're effective. However, there's compelling data looking at central pulse pressure from the strong heart study and from other studies, and looking at central uh, derived indices showing that these parameters are much more predictive and much more prognostically significant and therefore you need to act on numbers that are out of range and so I felt utterly confident that I needed to wean him off of his metoprolol which was reinforced to me by the fact that he was having some side effects from possibly attributable to the metoprolol but in my old days of practice, I probably would have just lowered the dose and kept them on a lower dose of metoprolol and not gotten them off completely. Mm -hmm. uh, instead, based on prior studies with the Sigma Core, done actually with the Sigma Core device, I was simply comfortable switching him to amlodipine with his lisinopril. Mm -hmm. And within four weeks, and I bet you even within two weeks if I had checked it, we would have seen a, a result, but of course I had to wean him off the metoprolol, so it took a while to get him off of it. Mm -hmm. Now he's completely off of it, his heart rate's improved. Physi physiologically and hemodynamically, it was exactly as I would have predicted. And um, his prognosis, I'm convinced, based on the numbers that I'm seeing here, is uh, improved based on those changes, which was literally dictated by the Sphygma Core readings.